So what's, uh, what's up next on the calendar for you guys? What do you got cooking right now? Anything in progress, process? We just, yeah, we just, got a, we just got a bear lot under, under contract in Portland, actually. So that's a new one for us. We haven't done bear land yet, um, but it's a wholesale deal. So we're, we're, we're marketing it and looking for a buyer on that. So. Excellent. So how'd you find that? Same, same kind of thing? I actually uh, posted uh, some Facebook ads. I had some Facebook marketing going on and she <clears throat> reached out to one of my Facebook ads. Mm -hmm. Now she, nice. so we contacted her and I, and I had a closing call with her and she, you know, it, this is several months ago. That yeah, this happened. she was actually a call back after, after several months of getting beat up. She called us back. <laughs> yeah. Nice. She, the market, the market let her know how much her property was really worth. And so she, she wasn't getting any. She wasn't getting any action. Her realtor was a, a clown, and she fired him. And she called me back and said, "Hey, look, here's the deal. This is what I'll take for it." And I negotiated another five grand off that, put it under contract, and now we're marketing it. So, excellent. See if we can find a buyer for it. It's it's a little bit tough because it's it's a nice lot, but it's not in a great. You know, Portland has a lot of pockets, just like anywhere else. You know, where you might have one street that's not that great and then a couple streets over is pretty decent. So this one's not in a great spot. And so I'm, I'm getting a little bit of resistance from, from some of the buyers that we're looking for that, you know, and, and Portland is super expensive to um, build in because of the SDCs and all the permitting and junk like that. They, they make it hard. They, they cry about they need low income housing, but then they make it impossible for a builder to build anything at a decent price. Right. <laughs> now, were you able to get <clears throat> some terms on this thing? So, no, we just locked it up for cash. But if I can't find a buyer for this in the next 10 days, it, with about 10 days left on our contract to close, I'm going to go back to the seller and I'm going to give them A and B option. A option is we cancel the contract. B option is they give us terms with a small down payment. Good. Good. Yeah, because it's the we got it under contract at 60000 so it's, 65. or 65000 and the the – the lot retails all day long, 120 ish. 130 to 150. 130 to 150. The challenge is to develop this lot. It's on a street that doesn't have uh, uh, sidewalks, and mm -hmm. so the city is now requiring. You know, if you develop, a, if you do a new construction, you have to put in sidewalks and whatnot. But none of this, the entire street doesn't have sidewalks, so it's a little weird. But it, right. but you know, it cost an investor about 30 to 40 grand to do the the permitting and the stuff that the city requires. So, but it's still, you know, still could be a great deal for someone. Do you have utilities already stubbed to the property at that point, at this point? They're at the street. Okay. So, and it's right on the street. You know. That's the major battle. You don't have to bring those in at least. So right. curb, yeah. Curbs and gutters, you know, got a poor driveway anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, but this brings up something that I should mention to everybody. Don't just think that we're a you know one trick pony here in terms of single family houses you can do this business the way we teach it on anything you can do it on single family you can do it on duplexes triplex quads you can do it on pieces of dirt you can do it on a tricycle if you think you can make money on it mm -hmm. um, you you literally can do this with just about any asset or asset class and make money um, land is really good uh, because many times you can buy land on terms. I mean, it's it's like commercial commercial property, like a, a big apartment complex. Sellers don't expect all cash. I mean, it's just that's not done. Ninety plus percent of the transactions done in commercial have some component of seller finance. Mm -hmm. Same thing with pieces of dirt lots. Um, typically, they are sold with carryback seller carryback financing, and so. You can buy that way and sell that way and you can make money on the spread. That's called arbitrage. Mm -hmm. And there's big money to be made in lots. I've got a couple of friends in Southern California uh, here that that's all they do is, you know, buy pieces of dirt for little to nothing down and then sell them for, a, you know, buy them for a nickel and sell them for a dime. And uh, they're making, you know, big mailbox money every month after you do this thing for a few years, you know, and, thousand bucks here a thousand bucks there per month pretty soon it adds up to real money